next grammar point is compound postpositions with pronouns. In one of the previous grammar points, we learned the compound postpositions. The compound postpositions are two or more word postpositions. For example, ke liye for Radha ke liye for Radha or ke saath with Mohan ke saath with Mohan. The first word is mostly ke, but it can sometimes be ki. In this grammar point, we will learn the compound postpositions with pronouns. With pronouns, the compound postpositions behave a little differently. They go with possessive pronouns such as mere, uske, aapke, etc. It will be easier to understand it with examples. Let's take the postposition ke liye for with all the pronouns. For me, mere liye. For you, tere liye. This is the extremely informal one. For him, for her, for it, iske liye, uske liye. For us, hamare liye. For you, tumhare liye. It is the informal one, but still acceptable. And for you, aapke liye, the most formal one. For them, inke liye, unke liye. So keep in mind, it is mere liye, not mere ke liye. It is hamare liye, not hamare ke liye. The first word of the compound postposition is already part of the possessive pronoun. That's why you do not repeat it. That's why it is mere liye, not mere ke liye. Let's take a few more examples. Ke liye is for and for me is mere liye. Ke saath is with and with us would be hamare saath. Ke siwai is accept, accept me is mere siwai. Ke baare mein means about, about them would be unke baare mein. Ke baad means after, after you is aapke baad. Once again, do remember, it is mere liye, not mere ke liye. It is hamare saath, not hamare ke saath. As I mentioned that the vast majority of the compound postposition has the first word K. But there are few compound postpositions that start with ki. In such cases, the feminine form of the possessive pronoun will be used. Here are some examples of the compound postpositions that start with ki. Ki tarha means similar to. Meri tarha, similar to me, like me. Ki or means towards. Hamari or is towards us. Ki tarha also means towards. Unki taraf, towards them. Keep in mind, it is meri tarah, not meri ki tarah. It is hamari or not hamari ki or. The first component ki, the first word ki is already part of the possessive pronoun. Let's take two short dialogues as examples. Ladki, kya ye phool mere liye hain? Ladka, haan ye phool aapke liye hain. The girl asks, are these flowers for me? Boy replies, yes, these flowers are for you. Here's another short dialogue. Patni, kya babu tumhare saath hai? Pati, haan, babu mere saath hai. The wife is asking, is babu with you? Babu is the son. The husband says, yes, babu is with me. Let's take a few more examples of compound postpositions with pronouns. Bo larka mere saath school jata hai. The boy goes to school with me. Mere saath with me. Kya ye kameez uske liye hai? Is that shirt for him? Uske liye for him. हम आपके बारे में बहुत सुनते हैं। We hear a lot about you, about you आपके बारे में। तुम्हारा भाई बिल्कुल तुम्हारी तरह है। Your brother is very much like you, तुम्हारी तरह, like you, similar to you। 